Now, I could send you through all the hassle of exporting the mannequin from Unreal, importing him to Blender and sorting out his armature, but I went ahead and rigged him and his lady friends so you don't have to worry about any of that. They can be added to the scene like any other primitive through the add menu. So let's load the mannequin arming sword I made last week so I can show exporting a static mesh. Some of these templates have armatures, some of them will have actions in the future too, but all of them have meshes and materials. If you have any of your own ideas for mannequin themed templates, I'd love to hear about them in the comments. Let's move this sword out of the way so I can get Manny himself into the scene without poking himself in the arse. And so I can show exporting skeletal meshes and animations. There are a few other little settings on this little loading menu and I plan to add many more mannequin themed example meshes. We can load the armatures with or without controls and rigging. The materials can be told to check if they already exist and the meshes can be instanced if they're already around as well as loading any levels of details if they have any saved with them. And behold, Mr. Mannequin in all his glory, don't be too put off by all the bones, many of them are mechanical and don't actually need to be animated. So let's take a quick look at some of this new and exciting rigging. I've completely redone my old deform control bone system thing and put it into its own add-on, many thanks to CG Dive for all the feedback he's given me while testing it. All this rigging is from another one of my soon to be released add-on. It treats it all a bit like materials. Each piece of rigging has its own settings and controls and you can tweak it to fit pretty much any armature. The settings probably shouldn't be keyframed, but pretty much all of the controls can be. So let's highlight some of these cool controls. They said this couldn't be done in Blender, but I pulled it off anyway. It's automatic IK to FK and FK to IK. I still suggest only keyframing in one or the other, but we can key between them if required, but that's a little bit too advanced for this video. We've also got some sublime spline rigging I got from chatting to Dicko on Discord and I went and did my own thing with that, so many thanks to him for getting me started on it. And I've also updated my own head tracking system with more controls and much smoother movement. So, we just need an animation to export now. So let's pay homage to when Matt Workman featured this add-on on an Unreal live stream last year and we can do a dirty little dab. There we go, now we have a static mesh, a skeletal mesh, and an animation to showcase the versatility of this pretty painless pipeline. So, let's get on with this export. It's as easy as grabbing what you want to export, going to File, Export, Mr. Mannequin's FBXs. Then we can give the operator separate folders for actions and for meshes. I do advise batch exporting all assets to their own files, it's just a better workflow not having to re-export everything each time you make a small change. You can prefix the file names as well if you like, and all the more advanced export settings that you probably shouldn't mess with unless you know what they do are here as well. So let's run the export, and I'm going to have to load up Unreal Engine. I'm going to go into a third person template and add everything from the first person template to it as well because Mr. Mannequin's weapons use the gun's material. Then let's right click somewhere and start importing. I'll do the meshes first, I tested them a moment ago and my file path just happens to already be on them. First up we have a duplicate of the mannequin's mesh to import so let's point that at the already existing skeleton. We'll want to import the normals, not compute them and I'm telling it not to create a new material so I don't have to delete it afterwards because we won't need it. If we wanted morph targets we'd need to check this ball but I'm not covering that here either, again this is just a quick guide. Then for the sword mesh, the importer isn't sure if it's skeletal or not as I selected it with a skeletal FBX but we can tell it no. Same again for importing normals, no materials and poof, we have meshes successfully imported without a single error. Let's just quickly give the sword the gun material and drop it into the level to show it's scaled correctly. And no, really, this is a skeletal mesh from Blender that works with the existing skeleton and animations of the mannequin. All scaled correctly, no freaking contortions or limbs pointing the wrong way. Now we can import that derpy dabbing animation, pointing at the same stock skeleton. I'm not going to cover all of these animation settings, not in this video, but you should totally subscribe so you don't miss the export import debunking videos I have planned where I'll go through every single setting in both Blender and in Unreal Engine. There you go, check that out. Animation that's correctly scaled and functioning on Manny's bones without having a damn seizure. Let's get that playing in the level just to prove it. Now 
Not actually a bad dab for uh, only 20 minutes of animating, if I do say so myself. And that's it. We just experienced the fastest, easiest, and most fully featured mannequin workflow from Blender to Unreal Engine. If you want to thank me for it, you can donate to the add-on on Gumroad or purchase it on Blender Market, but don't worry if you can't afford to. Mr. Mannequin Stools will always be completely free on GitHub. Just make sure you download from the releases section if you get it from there.